Last week, we discussed Meg Medina's novel, Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass. Meg answered some of the questions posed by our young readers, but they had a few more. This week, we hear more about Meg's approach to writing and a few other things. Did you get the ideas for these characters like based off of real people? Like, is the main character is she based off of you? Yeah, every character is based off of you and off of everybody you've ever met in your whole life. So cooking up characters is like, picture yourself like in front of this gigantic soup pot, right? And you just start throwing in bits and pieces of that person who annoyed you the most in elementary school, that person who scared you to death in junior high school, you know, that the person you just couldn't stand at X period of time, the person who saved you, and you just start cooking these people, and the characters emerge. I think what makes characters feel real is that when when you read my book, I want you to be able to look at this character and say, oh my gosh, I know somebody exactly like that, or even better, uh-oh, that's me. How long does it take like all the going to editors and then them telling you wait no I don't like this part you have to cut it out yeah so you know I think the big news about writing is that it's mostly rewriting right we, we think that we put something down on a page especially people think this of professional writers that we put something down on the page and it's almost exactly like what's in the book that you see published and it's never like that First of all, you're going to have about, oh gosh, dozens of revisions that you make yourself in, in your dining room, right? As you're writing this before you even dare show it to your editor. So there's that. But I, I like to, to think about revision as sort of an opportunity. I used to take it personally, like when, when somebody was giving you long lists of ways that you have to change this to make it better, you'd get this and say, oh my gosh, I'm a failure. I can't write. I'm really sort of mediocre. What business do I have in this, in this line of work? But what ends up happening is that I had a shift, and it's really this, that Writing a book is really just problem solving, right? The problems that the character's in, the problems that you're in and in, in constructing it. And problem solving is finding all kinds of ways to solve something. So when my editor asks me to think about a character in a different way or solve a, finish a chapter differently or whatever, I now, instead of thinking, hmm, I'm going to slash your tires, I am thinking <laughs> instead, that she's saying to me, I have faith in you to come up with another solution. And that sort of gives me courage to go back in there and say, you know, I really do. And what, how, what are the other ways that I can solve this? And, you know, you never stop. Even books that I have out and that are published, sometimes I'll be driving down the road and I'll go, why didn't I write the chapter this way? Or I could have ended it that way. A whole different book. Like, you never get to finish. We have dozens of conversations with other terrific writers at our website, bookclubforkids.org. And if you're looking for an audio drama with a Latina protagonist, check out our other podcast, The Fina Mendoza Mysteries. Fina is the 10-year-old daughter of a congressman from California who moves to Washington, D.C. and solves mysteries on Capitol Hill, including the mystery of the demon cat. She has help, of course. Her Dr. Watson is a huge orange dog named Senator Something. That's the Fina Mendoza Mysteries, wherever you listen to podcasts.